Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're talking about CSS box sizing uh, and why you might want to set the value to be border box for every element that is on your page. By default, it's going to be set to content box. This is something that can cause problems to the layout of your page if you're not aware of how content box and border box uh, work. So. Oh, actually, before we start, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe and alert the bell icon below. Uh, you'll get updates for upcoming videos then. Let's jump in now. now. I've got code pen here, and I've just set up a very simple scenario where we've got two div elements. We've got a box one here that's got a paragraph and some text in it, and then box two here, uh, very similar with box two. So they're both appearing down here at the moment, and nothing really to say there. Now, we'll, we'll, when this um, this issue with content box and border box is going to show itself is when we have a width set on these elements. Um, I put, uh, just to explain as well, they're just in a container here. That should that just means that we're going to get them aligned, and we'll be able to see the differences in the width problems. So that's the paragraph coloring. The container is just a display flex, so it's keeping them in the center there. Uh, and then I've set the HTML to be black, um, but our work is going to be in these two classes here, the box one and box two class. So each of those have got their own class here. So let's let's start by um, you know by default, as I said, the bo box sizing CSS attribute is set to content box. Let's see what that means um, if we give both of these a width. So. We'll give it a width um, of 200 pixels. Okay, so we can see that one moves out. And we give this one a width of 200 pixels. And that one moves out. And that's what we'd expect. Both of those are the same size. We've said they're 200 pixels. They're both 200 pixels wide. Okay, we're going to give it a border, which you can see why the name border box uh, might be useful here. So. On the first one, let's give it a border. Um, let's say 10 pixels and just make it a solid color like so. Okay, immediately our boxes are no longer the same width. Box two is still 200 pixels. We haven't changed that, it's still 200. Uh, box one, which we've given a border to, has actually changed the width. The Although we've said this box should be 200 pixels. It's actually um, 200 plus the border on the left and the right. So it's actually 220. And we can see that that's actually right. If I make box two actually 220, oops, actually 200. Oh, I've got to insert on. Actually 220, because uh, that now matches. So although we haven't, although we're specifying width 200, by default, CSS will add the borders onto that width. So not only does this make it pretty hard to, to create the page yourself, but in terms of maintenance, someone coming into some new code and they just want to change a border on something, it's gonna it could it will affect the width and that's gonna affect the layout of the other items. So you you you're gonna get a lot of problems there. How do we how do we resolve this? Well box sizing border box. Let's say, let's say I put um, that attribute box sizing border box onto the one that we've um, specified. Now it's shrunk back. It's actually so it's gone back to the width that we've specified. It's is honoring that width, including the border now. So if I can change box two back to two hundred, we'll see. They both match. Um, so that is why you kind of want to have box sizing on. We don't want to be adding this on every element though as well. So what quite often people do is specify a star. So every element and say box sizing here. Whoops. And border box which means I can then take it off of here and my boxes are still matching even though one's got a border, one hasn't. I can change this border to whatever I want 
we're still going to have the correct width that we've specified on that item. So there you go, uh, quite a quick one there, box sizing, border box, worth specifying uh, at the start of any new project. Uh, if you like that video, give me a thumbs up, a uh, thumbs down if you didn't, and don't forget to subscribe to get upcoming videos as well. Thanks very much for watching, bye.